This is uh, chapter 3, section 7. More equations of lines. Slope intercept form. Y equals MX plus B, right? Point slope form. That's the letter Y minus your Y value equals the slope times the letter X minus your X value at a point on the line. In the slope intercept form, the M is the slope and the B is the Y intercept where it hits the Y axis, right? So if you're given a line, if you're given the slope and the y intercept of a line and you're asked to write an equation for it, which equation, what form would you put it in? If you're given the slope and the y intercept, which which form of the equation would you use? Slope intercept. Good, the slope intercept form. What if you're given one point on the line and the slope of the line? Point slope form. What if you're given two points on the line? Point slope, right? You would use the two points to find the slope and then use one of the points to write the equation. All right, so if you're given <clears throat> the y-intercept of negative 8 and the slope is negative 2 thirds. So that equation, the equation for that line would be y equals negative two-thirds x minus 8. <coughs> Everybody okay with that? All right. Let's say that you're given... point and you're given the slope and you're asked to write the equation now you're going to use point slope form right so remember that it's y and then it's the opposite of the y value in the point so it's going to be minus 5 equals the slope times x, the letter x, and the opposite of the x value. So that would be plus 2. And that's your equation in point slope form. Any questions? Um, because the standard form, you know, y minus y1 equals x times, no, equals m times, x minus x1, that's your standard form, right? So what they're saying is the letter y minus your y value, or the letter y and the opposite of your y value, and the opposite of the 5 is negative 5, is equal to the slope times x and the opposite of your x value. Okay? If in standard form those were pluses, then you would write exactly the x and the y in there. But it's given as minus, and minus also means the opposite of. All right, so let's say next you're given two points.
You're given two points and you're asked to write the equation. What are you missing? You're missing the slope. So you have to figure the slope. And that's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And what's negative 8 minus 4? Negative 12. And negative 6 minus 2? Negative 8. What's a negative divided by a negative? Positive. And that is 3 over 2? So then your equation is going to be y. Now, when, when we're doing this, when you're doing this this week, and you're given two points, and then you're going to write the equation in point-slope form, use the first point. Use that point right there. So what goes next to the y? Minus what? Four, good. Equals your slope times x, and then what? Minus two. So those are three of the types of problems you're going to get today. You're going to be given the y-intercept and the slope. You're going to be given a point and the slope. You're going to be given two points. You've got to write the equation for the line. Okay? All right, the last type of question you're going to get today is you're going to be asked to write the equation of a horizontal and vertical line through the point and they're going to give you some different values. Let's say it's uh, negative 2, 1. Trevor, can you move your desk over about a foot to the left, please? Perfect. Thank you. All right, so if you plotted this point first, if you went to negative 2 and you went to 1, and you put a point there, a horizontal line through that point would look something like that, right? That's not horizontal, though. That's a little better. Vertical line through that point would look something like that. Agreed? Okay. Along this blue line, what is every x value? x is equal to negative 2 everywhere on this line, isn't it? So the equation for that line is x equals negative 2. All vertical lines, their equation is x equals wherever that line hits on the x-axis. So if that's the case, what would be the equation for this horizontal line? Good. Okay. And you could maybe make a note somewhere that says um, all horizontal lines are y equals and all vertical lines are x equals okay 
and it's x equals just a number, and it's y equals just a number. So if you were given a point, and then you needed to write an equation for the horizontal and the vertical through that point, the horizontal line, the equation would be and the vertical line would be All right. Negative eight, negative nine. The horizontal line and the vertical line, x equals negative eight and y equals negative nine. Those are your equations. Everybody okay with that? Yes, ma'am. From this point. Everybody got that? Page two eleven. One through twelve today.